everybody, I'm Dr. Rajeshri, Senior Consultant at Cloud9 Hospital, Dinagar, Chennai. My passion is obstetrics, that is pregnancy, high-risk pregnancies and vaginal deliveries. Today, I will be speaking to you about gestational diabetes mellitus or GDM. What is GDM? Diabetes that develops during pregnancy and is caused by pregnancy is gestational diabetes mellitus. It generally develops in the second half of pregnancy. It is diagnosed by blood test done between 24 and 28 weeks and it generally disappears following delivery of the baby. How does pregnancy cause diabetes mellitus? Insulin is a hormone that carries the glucose from the blood into the cells. In the cells, glucose is used as a form of energy. During pregnancy, the placenta produces certain hormones which makes the insulin work less effectively. Therefore, a pregnant mother develops resistance to her own insulin. Most women will compensate for this insulin resistance by producing one and a half to two and a half times more insulin. Some mothers are not able to produce this extra insulin and therefore they develop gestational diabetes mellitus. The insulin resistance during pregnancy generally develops in the second half of pregnancy and it disappears after delivery of the baby. Is GDM common in India? Unfortunately, yes. Gestational, the prevalence of gestational diabetes parallels the prevalence of type 2 diabetes mellitus in a given population. In India, type 2 diabetes has become an epidemic. India has the largest number of diabetics after China. As on 2015, an estimated 62 million people have type 2 diabetes mellitus and the number is estimated to go up to 79.4 million in 2025. In parallel with the increase in the prevalence of type 2 diabetes mellitus, the prevalence of GDM will also go up. National diabetes mellitus varies from as low as 3.8% to as high as 21%, that is 1 in every 5 pregnant women, depending on the geographic location and the diagnostic criteria used to detect gestational diabetes mellitus. In Kashmir, the incidence is 3.8%, it is 6.2% in Mysore, 9.5% in Western India, and 17.9% in Tamil Nadu. The difference in incidence is due to wide differences in living condition, socioeconomic status and the maternal age. In general, GDM is more common among urban women than rural women. Why is this GDM becoming more common in India? As already discussed, the socio-economic status. As the socio-economic status goes up, there are certain lifestyle changes. These lifestyle changes lead to too much access to too much of junk food like pizzas, burgers, soft drinks. And there is absolute lack of exercise especially among urban Indian women. Secondly, Maternal age. Women are planning pregnancy a little later in life after they are well settled in their career. As the maternal age advances, the incidence of GDM also increases. We be concerned about GDM. What is the impact of GDM? The immediate effects on the pregnancy and the newborn. First, the immediate effects on the pregnancy. Gestational hypertension. Women with GDM are at increased risk of developing gestational hypertension that is blood pressure during pregnancy 
and preeclampsia where along with blood pressure they also have protein or albumin in the urine and other symptoms like headache and epigastric pain and preterm labor that is the water surrounding the baby or the amniotic fluid increases significantly and this can lead to preterm delivery and premature birth next is macrosomia when the sugar levels in the mother goes up the sugar will cross the placenta and enter the baby circulation because of the increased level of sugar the baby in the baby it stimulates the pancreas to produce more amount of insulin in the baby the combination of increased blood sugar and increased insulin leads to excessively large babies which is known as macrosomia where the babies are large and they weigh more next is stillbirth that is delivery of a baby that has died before birth this is rare if a woman with gdm has good antenatal care and her sugar levels are under good control the impact of gdm on the newborn first is hypoglycemia that is the blood sugar levels of the baby go down we have seen that the excess sugar from the mother crosses the placenta and goes to the baby and the baby produces increased amount of insulin to bring the sugar levels normal after the birth of the baby immediately after the birth the excess sugar from the mother is cut off but the baby will continue to produce increase amount of insulin for some time and therefore the sugar levels will go down so these babies need to be monitored for their sugar levels for some time respiratory distress that is the lungs do not mature on time in the baby of diabetic mothers therefore they may have some breathing problems after they are born newborn jaundice or hyperbilirubinemia occurs more often in babies of women with gestational diabetes mellitus also the level of certain minerals like calcium and magnesium can remain low these are the immediate effects of tdm now let us look at the late effects of tdm first is once a woman has had gestational diabetes in one pregnancy there is an increased incidence that is one third to two third of women with gestational diabetes in one pregnancy will again develop gestational diabetes mellitus in the next or another pregnancy two women with gestational diabetes mellitus that is who have had gestational diabetes mellitus in one pregnancy are at an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes mellitus later in life especially if they are overweight or obese and if they have a family history of diabetes mellitus that is 50 to 75% of women who are overweight or obese will develop type 2 diabetes mellitus later whereas less than 25% of women who have had gdm and or normal weight will develop type 2 diabetes mellitus later in life therefore it is very important to follow the dietary restrictions and have a regular exercise routine to prevent development of type 2 diabetes mellitus later in life cardiovascular diseases like heart attack or stroke are more common in women who have had gestational diabetes mellitus therefore lifestyle management that is weight reduction is very very important to prevent all these late effects of gestational diabetes mellitus children of mothers with uncontrolled diabetes either pre existing or gestational are four to eight times more likely to develop diabetes mellitus later in life as compared to their siblings born to the same parents in a non gdm pregnancy so these are the late effects both on the mother and the child so today we have discussed about the 
gestational diabetes mellitus in general and the impact of gestational diabetes mellitus. What is the risk of developing GDM? Can GDM be avoided? Will we know if we develop GDM in pregnancy? How do we diagnose GDM and when do we test for GDM? All these questions will be answered in the next session.